Breaking news. Sunday Igboho declares June 12th a day of protest. Once Buhari, hello my people, is happening. A day more Sunday Igboho is, you know, uh, sending a strong message to President Muhammadu Buhari with regards to protests that will happen on that day. Don't forget that June 12th became a significant day in Nigeria after MKO Abiola victory was um, annulled by then Babangida and um, that has affected Nigerian democracy. And you see, June 12th is a day where people remember true democracy and uh, where reflection and the true intent and will of the people has been circumvent. Up until now, things have really not changed much, you see. Nigeria has still continued to be in that cocoon where the will of the people is circumvent and um, those who feel they are the leaders and movers and shakers keep continuing to oppress Nigerians. Take for instance the Twitter issue going on. Muhammad Buhari feels spite because his tweet was deleted. Hence, he says no Nigeria will use Twitter again. How is that even possible? Anyway, my people, is really happening. Sunday, Adeye, more popularly known as Sunday Buhu, has sent a strong warning to Muhammad Buhari. Protests will be ongoing in Yoruba land. Don't forget that the Attorney General of the Federation, uh, Kali Baba, is already in Lagos and Buhari is uh, due to arrive in Lagos. Is it today or tomorrow? Yes. Please don't forget to give us a talk up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details Sunday, Adeye, more popularly known as Sunday Boho, has declared June 12th as a day of protest for Yoruba nation agitation. The self-acclaimed Yoruba activist said the agitators will hold peaceful rally across the southwest region on Saturday, June the 12th. Sunday Boho, who spoke through his spokesman, Ola. Ola Yomi Koiki in a live video program aired on Wednesday night called on Southwest governors to cooperate with a peaceful protest during the exercise. He warned Buhari's led administration not to attack the agitators but to allow them on a peaceful rally. He said, let us warn the federal government that if there is bloodshed this weekend, the international community is watching. If the military kills any Nigerian this weekend, it is going to be very hot. The Yoruba nation rally will go ahead in every part of Yoruba land. The rest of the country where it will be held. Red alert will begin on Friday. People should stock up food items from Friday night. We are not backing down this weekend. We are ready to take back what belongs to us. He also adjourned agitators to fast on Friday. This is coming after NAS under leadership of the national president, Comrade Sunday Adifera declared June 12th a national day of peaceful protest to call the government to act decisively towards addressing insecurity. Publisher Osara reporter Somoye Lisho Wore has also called for a nationwide June 12th protest against the President Muhammadu Buhari's administration and has continued to very lead Nigeria in the bad way. So this is going on. Uh not just Sunday but who other persons as well are coming on the on the on the on the on the call that June 12th should be a protest day. However, you know that we all know that uh, Muhammadu Buhari has sent the Attorney General already to Lagos. As we speak, the Attorney General is in Lagos already. Muhammadu Buhari, like we heard, is due to arrive in Lagos in the forthcoming days. Um also, it will be arriving in Lagos the very June 12th day, and the, the whole issue is to ensure that uh, the people of the Southwest do not protest. Don't forget that uh, uh, MK Wabiola's whole issue occurred in Lagos, where this man won the election but never saw the presidency and was later, you know, he later died. You see, this is how Nigeria's uh, democracy has since, you know, been taken aback by some people who call themselves government and they go ahead and just, you know, do what whatever they want to do, it ought not to be so, but it's happening. He has released this message to Koikui, uh, letting Nigerians and everyone aware and telling Buhari, please don't come and attack the people. It's a peaceful protest where people want to express themselves and declare what they stand for. We do not, we are not calling for any 
We're not calling for anything else. We just want a peaceful protest to go on uh, to mark the Democracy Day that, um, you know, where will of people we circumvent. And this is the purpose and the intent. Nothing more, nothing less. And the plea is that Muhammad the Buhari should be warned because the whole world is watching. And this is why they are trying to regulate the social media so that... Um, the world will not know what is going on in Nigeria. The social media, you know, is, is a platform where as soon as something happens, immediately the whole world can see what is going on. This they are trying to prevent at all costs to ensure that uh, nobody knows what is going on. They would have done it. Then when they, you know, definitely news will spread. By the time it happened and they ask them what happened, you say, well, don't mind them. It's just some boys making some noise. Listen, there is no evidence. There is nothing. It not dies a natural death. And that's why they don't want people to let people know because if the thing happened and people are seeing it live you have to explain what is being seen on video you know what is being captured on video now as it's happening in real time you cannot come and be lying and saying that it's nothing you can't lie so twitter first of all if you have not if you have not heard like muhammad has gone ahead and has said um Facebook, Instagram, and the rest of them, Snapchat, and the rest of them, he said, well, they will have to come and register like a company in Nigeria. If not, they'll be blocking them soon. Uh -huh. If you have not heard, that is the new one. So you can know that um, this democracy, the Buhari you voted for, there you have it. <laughs> Those of you that voted for Buhari, there it is. So that's the Buhari you voted for. No freedom of expression, no freedom to speak. People are being held down. You know, Buhari lied to the world when they, you know, he's, he's, when they met with and the international community on the Twitter ban. He said they were in talks with Twitter. Guess what? They've not had a single word. In fact, they've not even contacted Twitter. There is no ongoing talks, no talk whatsoever. It's all a mirage, all a lie to make the world make, make the world feel that they are doing something. Truly, really speaking, nothing is going on. My people is happening. Muhammad Buhari's government has uh, shown to the world that they are detectors. And they are ready to keep it that way. We have to keep pushing on. We cannot be silent in the face of all that is going on. It's an attempt to circumvent the will of the people. But we will not allow it. Don't forget, June 12th is the mass day for protests across the country. And um, know that security agencies will be all over the place. So uh, also be careful, be vigilant, and know what is going on around you. Because, um, you know, people are now, you know, not just... Omo uh, Elisha has also declared it. The National uh, Union of Workers have also declared that this is a day to stand and to declare what we really believe in as a nation. We're not going to let anybody... Not going to allow anybody to take away our rights or take that which belongs to us. So, my people, reality check is happening. Real life, real time is happening. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget, you have a voice. Let it be heard. God bless you. Bye for now.